Okay, so round one of the playoffs is over. Uh, just going to do a quick, quick review here before we get set up for round two. Take a couple days off from playing, I think, before we start round two. Just to take a break. We'll start at the top of the West. Uh, Dallas beats Chicago in six games. A little bit of a surprising result there. So Chicago, with all those old school players, are knocked out. Detroit, top team in the West, finishes off Nashville 4-1. to one. It was a pretty tight series. Nashville had that good D. They played pretty tight, but didn't have the offense to beat Detroit. Detroit will play Dallas now in the second round. Edmonton and LA, this one's a heartbreaker. If you're going to watch one game from the first round, watch the last game from the first round, which was game six. Edmonton and LA, Miracle on Manchester Part 2. It happened again. And the Kings, who are without Gretzky, Kopitar, Gabrick, Regeer, Dion's hurt. They end up knocking off the Oilers in six games. I, I, I still can't believe it. Oilers were up 2-0 in this series, too. Then they just found a way to shut down Edmonton. Vancouver wins a good series against St. Louis, 4-2. Um, newsworthy there, Pronger got hurt towards the end of the series. And then Henrik Sedin got hurt about in the middle of the series. And then Sundin and Bure started playing together and they had great chemistry. So LA and Vancouver are gonna play in the second round. That's an old Smike division matchup there. So pretty interesting. On the East Coast at the top, New York defeats New Jersey four to two. Uh, three overtime wins in that series for New York. They're going to play top-seeded Pittsburgh, who swept Boston, the only sweep of the first round. And uh, a little surprising, Boston had a good team, but Boston backed up into the playoffs. They really bad. They they barely got into the playoffs. They they really had a shitty second half. I think maybe trading for Joe Thornton just kind of fucked them up. So uh, they kind of played like a bottom bottom seed team too. So. Expect a tougher matchup in this uh, Pittsburgh-New York matchup. There's a Patrick Division rival right there. And then in the Atlantic, you had, surprise too, Toronto knocks off Montreal. So Montreal, Boston, Chicago, some of those original six teams that have some really good players and really history are not going to advance in my season. Uh, Toronto knocks them out in six. They were up 3 nothing in that series before Tr Montreal won two in a row in overtime before the Leafs finally got them in game six. And then here, this one's a shocker too. Top seeded Tampa Bay in the uh, Atlantic gets knocked out in six games by Philadelphia. Philadelphia, plain and simple, uh, what they did was they hit Tampa Bay all the time. They hurt two or three players every game. Tampa was never healthy. They they were down three nothing in the series, came back, won a couple big games, but in the end just just weren't able to get through all the injuries. And uh, Ta Philadelphia had a lot of scoring depth too. So Philly against Toronto, that's going to be an interesting matchup. Um, don't really think of them playing too too often, but that's going to be fun. Let's have a look at the player stats. John LeClaire, him and Lindros had a great series. Yeah, Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> Gretzky had a big five point night, three goals, two assists that last game against LA, but they, they got knocked out. So he'll be surpassed soon, him and Yuri Curry. John LeClaire, Lindros, they both advance. McDavid's out. Pronger's going to advance. Bure, Kucherov. I think Kucherov had the most goals. Yeah, him and Leclerc. Well, he's done now, too. So. Uh, it should just be about it. I just wanted to do a quick team stats. Nah, we don't need to do any of that. Yeah, so uh, get ready for round two.